Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven and we are here at Hearthstone Village, our Montana ranch where we're decked out for Thanksgiving. Look at all of these. Oh, I love all these trees. I just love them. I'm so tempted to try to get some more trees today. So it has been a very busy few days and I have not had as much time as I usually do to be able to pop in and check in on all of our horses and try to raise them up and get them ready to be sold for diamonds to happy homes and to be able to figure out what other events might be happening. So we've got a lot to catch up on today and as usual first thing we're going to do is run out to the fields and clean up all of the poop as it has been voted that this is poop and all of the grass so we're going to just clean all this up really quickly just tidy up yay we found some diamonds woo all right and we will go ahead and gather up all of the coins and you know today I think we might move a few of our horses into the brand new grand stable I wonder if this grand stable looks different than the grand stable that we have in France like inside That'll be fun to check out in the future too. So we might move a few of our horses into the Grand Stable because we are going to be making room to try to get the Sagittarius horse. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's another one with the orange coloring and the flame colorings. I just really, really love it. But we do not have the horses that we need, the American Paint and I'm trying to remember what the other one is, the Hanoveran. We do not have these two for being able to breed them to get this guy. So I'm hoping maybe somebody will already have this horse at one of our friend's ranches and we can just try breeding for it repeatedly that way. We'll probably have better luck than trying to breed our horses up and get the other breeds and then get there. So we'll have to see what we can do. But let's go ahead and check the mail really quickly. Yay, oh my gosh. <laughs> 27,000 coins for being hired as a stable hand. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be like multi-millionaires soon. Whoops, and then let's see. Thank you to all of you unknowns and Randy for coming to visit the village and say hello to our horses. And 57,000 in social breeding rewards. We've been passed in the Brazilian steeplechase. Oh my gosh, here are your 100 diamonds for connecting to Facebook. Oh my goodness, boom. We just got 100 diamonds, you guys. That is fantastic. That is so exciting. All right, all right, let's see. All right, there we go. And we've got all of the unknowns and Randy. Thank you for stopping and petting our horses. And apparently there is now a wiki for the horse haven. And I've actually used a wiki. I'm not sure if it's the official one to figure out how to get the rare elite and mythic horses. So we've got a lot of work to do. All right, so the mail is sorted and we have achieved the achievement rodeo. Own 10 level 10 horses at the same time. Boom, that is awesome. Wow, we are really getting up there on the diamonds now. I'm so excited. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do, let's check our daily quest. We need to harvest seven honey crunchies, reach 1,000 meters in the Russian steeplechase, harvest 10 orange feeds, and visit three friends' ranches. So those are definitely some things we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and see. We need to get some orange feeds going. Oh my gosh, and our storage space is full. All right, so the next thing we'll do, let's see if any of our horses are ready to be adopted out. And that is if our beautiful mythic Australian Brumbies have reached level 10. Cupcake, I know, has reached level 10. And I was waiting to show you guys just how many diamonds she is worth now. So Cupcake, Australian mythic, Australian Brumby mythic, is at level 10 and I freaked out when I saw how many diamonds she's worth because she's the first one I've ever gotten to level 10. Are you guys ready for this? Boom, 82 diamonds, 82, 82. I, I just, I can't even believe that. That just is amazing to me. She is worth 82 diamonds. So we're gonna go ahead and sell her now, which is gonna be a little sad, but we have her mother, Kareen, and Kareen turns out Australian Brumby babies all the time. I was selling the foals like left and right without realizing that if we had just raised them up a bit more, boom worth this much that is fantastic so cupcake i hope you go and have a fantastic life with your new owner you're amazing cupcake i'm gonna work on your brother or odin here i think odin is going to be ready for being adopted out today as well so let's go ahead and feed him up all of those red feeds there you go, buddy. Boom. I love the bonus on leveling we have right now, too. So Odin is now ready as well. I've loved working with you. You helped so much with getting your mom's, uh, like, racing done. But it is time for you to go on as well, my friend. Oh, I'm really going to miss him. But that's okay, and the reason we do that is because we do need to clear the way so that we can start bringing in new horses and new breeds. So it is a little sad, but don't get too sad, you guys. It's gonna be okay. And then let's see, we have lightning, 
We've got our Jutland horse over here. I think we can feed our Jutland, Coco, who tried so hard and he just could not quite manage to give us the the constellation horse from last, the Scorpio, I think it was from last month. So it's okay, Coco, I know you tried your best. <laughs> I know you tried your best, he had so many babies. All right, and then we've got this beautiful one right here, Agent, who is our thoroughbred. And Agent will probably put into, yeah, we'll probably put Agent into, ooh, look at that, level 10, the Grand Stable for now, worth 51. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, we'll probably put him in the Grand Stable in just a bit. But let's go ahead and check on our other ranches really quickly and maybe get some Honey Crunchy going. Oh, that's right, I need to plant some soybeans. All right, let's go ahead and check on these guys because we are working on raising up our lovely ladies here at this ranch as well. And I might actually start putting away a few of these horses. Let's see, who are you? Why do I have you here? Oh, that's Nova. Nova, what are you doing out? Oh, I think I needed to move him out because I ran out of room inside of the main stable. Oh, because I swapped out. I remember now, I put Lion Star back into the grand stable and swapped Nova out. And Nova... I think we might need to keep for breeding, so I'm going to ship Nova off. So I'm gonna transfer you out of here, buddy. And then we have a new Leo baby. So this is Delos, and we're gonna go ahead and put Delos into his own little stable. And we are trying to breed up Delos's parents, who is Zhang here, who's apparently like my level two or level three. I, I'm pretty sure that he's level three, I thought for sure, uh, of my Leo constellation horse. And we're breeding him up against Starbright, who I was pretty sure was my level three, but I guess she's only a level two. So I'm sort of blown out of the water there, but we are trying to breed these two together so that we can have the next level. Let's see, where is she? Not Bella, Starbright. So we can try to get the next level of the Leo horse because I think those foals go for something ridiculous like 50 as soon as they're born. And yeah, yeah, that right there, 50. So this would be Star. Oh, with the little green eyes and he'd be a little boy. Okay, so we're, that's our goal today, you guys, is pink. We're gonna cheer on the pink and even if we don't get pink, we want blue. So pink, 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 pink. I really want the pink because that would be so amazing to start getting to the point where we could have pink, 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 no, that's okay. There's still adorable Leo babies. One day we'll get the pink and then we'll be super excited. I think we're just gonna end up specializing in raising Leos because we don't seem to ever have any luck with the other constellation horse breeds. And that's just fine, but it's fun to try to shoot for them. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll clean up this paddock. Let's check in on our constellation horses. We have Bella, beautiful Bella. How are you, darling? We're raising her to get her to level 10 as well. Ooh, she just got to level nine. Good job, Bella. Good job! She's worth 50 diamonds right now. So she might be worth kind of uh, finding a new home now. And then we have King here. And King, let's go ahead and feed you up, my friend. You want some of those yummy grapes? And he is now at level six. I think he's a lower tier than his sister. Yeah, so he's only worth 35 diamonds right now. But that's still not bad. And what we'll actually do is we'll go ahead and we'll just throw these two out gently into the paddock. Let's see, oh no, oh no, hang on. Ha, there we go. Try to crash on me, will you, Horse Haven? Well, it's not going to work. There, so we've got these two walking out in the paddock fields. That should be good. And then we can feed little Delos over here. Hi, buddy. Hi, yeah, you're still adorable, aren't ya? You're still adorable. We'll get you leveled up and hopefully you can be big and strong and sell for more than eight diamonds to a really happy owner in the future. Can I feed you some carrots? I wouldn't mind feeding you carrots. But actually, we need to do that to kind of clear out our stocks a little bit since we aren't able. There we go. Level two already. You're growing so fast. Boom, now he's worth 15 diamonds. I love how quickly that starts piling up. To me, it just makes so much sense to work on breeding constellation horses because the end results are super useful with just being able to have some diamonds showing up more often. Ooh, we're almost level 31, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, he's gonna want some jam. Of course you can have some jam. I'll be right back, little guy. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get some honey crunchies started. How many honey crunchies do I need? So that should give us nine honey crunchies. 
And we need seven. So yeah, that should be plenty of honey crunchies. And he wants some of the fruit jam. I have won so many fruit jams from the trivia grandma running the trivia stand. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and give those fruit jams to him. Ooh, 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 look at that. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. That was so awesome. And he just leveled straight up in there. Oh, that is so cool. There you go, Delos. Just like that, my friend. And then we can just go ahead and come on in. We can muck out his little stable. Man, I love that fruit jam. I wish that all of the horses wanted the fruit jam more often. Yeah, you're a handsome boy, aren't you? Good job. All right, well, we'll be back to visit with him in a little bit just to see if we can help him out. And let's go ahead and we're actually gonna go into Germany and check on our German ranch now and see how it's doing. All right, so we have quite a few horses sort of puttering about over here. And we're gonna clean out the paddock. I should probably work on upgrading this paddock pretty soon. All right, gather this up and gather that up. And as you can see, we have another thoroughbred. And so this is our female thoroughbred, Quinn. So I think we might be sending Quinn over to, um, in fact, I think I might send Quinn over to the American ranch because that's where our male thoroughbred is. So just in case we cannot find, oh yes, we're ranked 31, you guys, woohoo! I think we can get a new mine now. Yay, and we unlocked a new horse. But yeah, I think we're gonna send Quinn over to the American ranch, the USA ranch, so that we can breed her against Agent in case we need to try to get our mythic level thoroughbred that way. So that's a goal there. And then we're working on this handsome guy right here, Hero, who's a Dolhurst. We actually already have Dolhurst. We have quite a few of them. And so I need to come over and grab... I need to grab those cookies. But we do already have some Dolhurst who are hiding in our stables, our grand stables over here. Oh, we have some notes. Yay! Tomorrow's another shopping day! And then... Yay! Okay, bonuses. But yeah, so we don't need Quinn is basically what I'm trying to say. No, we need Quinn. I meant I meant this guy. We don't really need this guy. I don't mean it meanly, Hero. It's just we have a female Dolhurst. Though really, more often it seems like we need the males. Maybe we'll swap him with the female we have. I don't know. I'll think about that. It's always a gamble. All right, so we're taking care of him. There's a baby we're kind of raising up. Corrine, do you want some crunchies? She does. All right, so let's feed her some crunchies. She is finally at level 10. She's the one that we put the special bonuses from the, the special cup on. And once we get her up to level 11, then she has the opportunity to potentially level up. It's, it's a roulette, so you don't always get it, but sometimes you do. Or, or to potentially level up a skill, I should say. And we do have the option to upgrade our mine. I'm kind of tempted to spend some of our diamonds on that. Upgrading the mine, because it would mean we could discover more... You know what, I think I'm gonna do it. All right, we just spent like pretty much all the diamonds we earned today, but I think it's important. <gasps> the sapphires, oh my gosh. Yes, because right now we've been buying the sapphires and they're so expensive. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh my gosh, we just blew all of our diamonds on the mines, but I think that that is an important investment. All right, so last thing we are going to do, I think we'll do a couple last things. We need 1,000 coins from the Russian steeplechase. So let's go ahead and have our beautiful Kareen stretch her legs over here for a second. So let's go grab 1,000 coins. We'll give her uh, a little stamina. We'll give her a little jump. We'll give her a little shield. Just so she can stretch her legs and have a good time. Because we don't run many steeplechases together sometimes. And Kareen is usually having babies for us too. And I'm hoping that today we will be able to find... Somebody who has bred up one of the um, <laughs> one of the new constellation horses from our friend groups. And I know many of you leave comments and you're like, Siri, I'm level this and my name is this and I have this horse that you're trying to breed with and I'm still having trouble finding some people. So I'm not sure if all of my friends are showing up, but don't hesitate to send a friend invite just in case. You can actually get um, the friend invites by becoming friends on Facebook. You want to friend my Siri Green Facebook account. You don't want to friend the like Siri Pixel Biology community page. You can do that too. I plan on trying to put some updates over there soon. But if you want to become friends on Horse Haven, you have to be friends on Facebook first. That's how it works. All right, there we go. We're going to rush over here. 
Jump down here. We're gonna start flying. Look at this. I love how she looks kind of like a Pegasus. I wonder if they're ever gonna put like a Pegasus or a unicorn in here. I think people would just freak out. They would beyond freak out. They would they would just totally think that was the most amazing thing ever. All right, this is not a hard race to run. So we'll stop once we get to a thousand coins. All right, come along, Karine. We're almost there. Takes a while to gather 1,000 coins here. Okay, okay. Almost there. All right, there's a bunch of coins and we're good. All right, so this is where I usually start letting my horses just kind of run into the, the hurdles, which sounds really bad. <laughs> but it can take forever to get out of these when you have a really fast horse if you're just trying to complete the daily quest. So don't feel like you have to like do your absolute best on everything if you're just trying to do the daily quest. There we go. So basically we're telling Kareen to come back because we're all done. All right, and that should complete the daily quest. Good job, Kareen. You are so fast, so beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's complete that. Yay, quest complete. So that is now done. And we are going to now visit three friends ranches. Oh, actually, we're gonna plant some soybeans because I just remembered we probably need to check on the soybean fields since I need to plant or I need to start growing all of that feed. All right, yeah, everybody's busy over here. Everybody's busy over here. Let's clear this out. And then I need to get a bunch of soybeans planted. There we go. Whole bunch of soybeans, because they take a while to grow. And then we will start visiting a few people's ranches. And as usual, we'll kind of check the higher level ranches just really quickly, because they tend to have the horses that we're looking for sooner than the other people. Okay, Dolhurst. Few of these guys, Dutch Warm Blood. We'll check the other two ranches really quickly. Anybody rare? Oh, there's some rare horses over here. All right, there's a Rocky Mountain. Oh, I think, is this? Oh, it's a Scorpio! It's a little Scorpio, so they have a Scorpio. We could still try to get the Scorpio that way. So that's good news. There's a Scorpio hiding here. All right, I don't see the new horse here. I see a Jutland and a Dutch Warm Blood. So that's Karsten. And let's go ahead and visit Unknown right here, our friend Unknown. And we'll see if they have one of the rare horses that we're looking for. Ooh, no. I see some Walarias, but not the horses we're looking for. We'll take another peek. And then I wonder if people lower level would be having better luck. Because they're like, oh, Siri, this is a really easy one to breed. So good for them. <laughs> All right, that's a Halflinger. So let's go ahead. We'll try something. Well, let's come up here really quickly. I think Sarah actually said something about having one of the horses that we needed. So we'll check this ranch and then we'll check a couple of the lower level ranches. Just in case. <gasps> a Libra! A Libra! Oh my gosh, is that a female Libra? It's a female Libra! We have a Libra! We have a male Libra! There's two beautiful Libras. Look at Sarah's ranch. Oh my gosh. Apparently there's a Scorpio somewhere here too. I love this. It's packed with plants. I want to make mine look like this. Oh my gosh. There's a Libra. Maybe we'll breed with the Libra today. That is a good idea. All right. And then we've got a Bavarian warm blood over in the German ranch. Wow. This place is just decked out. I feel very humble pie right now. Comparing it to ours. Where are you, little guy? A Mustang. All right, you know what? We're going to breed up against the Libra. Because I feel like, wow, Sarah's ranch is just like, holy moly. It's all nice looking. Let's go ahead and we are going to breed with the Libra Galaxy. Our Libra Galaxy with her Libra. And we're going to go ahead and see if they can have a baby. Like we can get a female of some kind. So they do have the chance of shadow... Let's see, a Libra, are they all the same level? S faster speed, better jump and stamina. So we have the possibility of some sort of Libra baby here. I'm not sure what kind. Dun dun, is it a little girl? Is it a little boy? It's a little boy, so we're gonna have a little boy named Sonic. So that's just fun to know that we found another Libra to breed with. Okay, so that's awesome. And we're gonna zoom over here. Let's check this out. Laura, I think some of the people down in like the 18s have said they've had luck with the, at least like the American paint or something. So let's see. Not you. You're a very handsome horse though. There's a Canadian. 
Here's an Andalusian. And this is a Tennessee Walking. So there we go. There's Skull Candy, I think. The names are starting to pop up more now that people have been connecting their Facebook accounts better, I think. All right. And then let's pop over here. Anybody? Nope. Nobody we're looking for. Not here, at least. And then let's see. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Maybe Sandra? We'll check, like, one more person after this. Just to see if we can find the horses that we're looking for. Oh, it's another Libra! So there's Libras everywhere. Here's a Halflinger. There's some really pretty horses out here. Is this? Oh, it's a Virgo! Oh my gosh! There's a male thoroughbred. Here's another beautiful Halflinger. Well, we'll check a couple more of Sandra's things. Because she might have maybe another horse hiding in another ranch. I wish there was like a sign you could put up. I know a lot of people leave the constellate. Oh my gosh. Wow, I missed that. That's gorgeous. Wow. I love how this looks like a little garden. Inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. Everywhere inspiration. Wow. Okay, well, I know what we're doing in future episodes. We're going to be revamping everything. I spy with my little eye one of the little crystals we don't have. So I wonder what that West, West, Westphilium. Hmm. Ooh. I kind of want to. Mm, my breeding house is occupied, but only in one of my ranches. <laughs> okay, let's visit Sandra. I think we have to visit Sandra from a ranch where our breeding house isn't occupied. Because I want to try breeding against that horse right there. Because that looked really cool. Alright, so let's come over here. And we're going to go into the Germany ranch. And this will be the last thing we do before trivia for the day. Oh, and we'll feed, we'll feed Corrine some, some little pie because she did so good for us at the steeplechase. And we're about to try to see if we can get some sort of cool mythic mix baby from her. Boom! Corrine just leveled up. Oh, we don't have the chance for a stat level up here, but that's okay. All right, we get a reward for leveling her up. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Stop, 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 stop. Yay! Diamonds! We'll restore the diamonds that we have lost because we spent so many. All right, and now let's go ahead and we're going back. Sandra, was it? Sandra. Oh, boy. This is where it gets dangerous. Mix these. Chandra? Was it Chandra? Mix this in Siri's memory and... The huge list. No, it wasn't Chandra though. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of little Libras here. Pretty sure it wasn't Chandra. You gotta slow down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Siri, why do you have the memory of a, a goldfish? Well, even, no, here, here, here. I'm pretty sure it was here. Pretty sure it was French? The French ranch? Question mark? Maybe not? Yes, yes, yes. This is him. This is the guy I wanted to try to breed against. There we go. Oh my gosh. They cost a lot to breed together. Okay, so they have a chance of having a halflinger, which is not what we really want. Yay, fast halflinger, but boo, I want I want whatever he is. So he is a speedy stamina -y Westphilia, Westphamplia, or however you say it. And then we also have a chance of an Australian Brumby. So let's see what we get. Australian Brumby, we want yellow or blue on this. We don't want pink. Stop, stop, stop. No! Okay, well, we got we got that <laughs> instead. We got Ryu, Ryu, uh, the Halflinger, and we'll have to remember to try to stop by here again because Sandra has a good, cool horse to try to breed with. All right, well, let's go ahead. We are done for the day, my friends. We have done a lot today. It is awesome. Ugh, I can't I can't resist this little foal is just sitting here staring at me in the face you guys look at it. it looks like a little a spotted zebra that's what it makes me think of and I know zebras aren't spotted they're striped but it makes me think of a spotted zebra. All right there you go Matten. All right took care of that guy and let's go ahead and finish up the day by taking our quiz. Which horse breed originated from northern Europe? The Forge, Appaloosan, Andalusian. Anyway. That was a total guess. Which of these names uh, which of these, n which of these not, okay, so the grammar is wrong here. Which of these is not the name of a real life horse breed? Pony of the Americas, Pony Mouse, Pony Mouse Eye, Singapore Pony. Um, Pony of the Americas? Singapore Pony, dang it. We're just not on our ball tonight. Uh, oh look, we can, <laughs> I know that one, yay! Yay, okay, the name of the, the German horse ranch is the Fusian horse ranch. So we did good there. 
We'll feed the full one last time just to say good night to him and we had so many diamonds today you guys and we're gonna work on getting those diamonds back again and i hope you are all having a wonderful day and i cannot wait to see you next time and good luck with your horses everybody good luck with your horses and hopefully i'll have some really awesome mines to show off to you next time so i'll see you then Bye bye